Today I have the pleasure of Dalen Smith's company from Jude Law, OHLA USA. Dalen, thanks for joining me. Let's get started. Tell me a bit about OHLA, what they're involved in, and what your role is in the company. Well, that's out of the uh, 110 years that uh, OHLA has uh, serviced uh, global infrastructure um, in five out of the seven continents. Uh, right here in the U.S., we have the four divisions, which is our headquarters in New York, California, and Florida, and here in Chicago, land area in Illinois. Uh, we perform bridges, tunnels, commuter railways, heavy and uh, light rail mass transit, highways, airports, and uh, vertical construction. And uh, for the last six years that I've been here at OHL USA, I've been an uh, estimator where I've utilized ag tech for various takeoffs and uh, quanti quantity analysis uh, in, um, in estimating to uh, be able to put together uh, some you know, good bids. Dalen, you mentioned to me earlier that you've been working with ag tech for near on 20 years now. How did your journey with ag tech begin? Well, it started with a smaller mass excavation contractor as a field engineer where I was responsible for modeling mass earthwork sites for a field layout, grade checking, and machine control. But uh, for the last 12 years, I've utilized it for uh, estimating takeoffs and, and uh, visual demonstrations. You know, for specific or for, for specifically earthwork site removals, you, underground utilities, paving, and you know K and Zs. Well, Jude Law OHLA USA is heavily involved in highway construction work, and no doubt you're working with the AgTech Highway module. How is that module assisting you? Well, it assists us by being able to utilize AgTech to develop quantities in a more in-depth manner. Uh, as it gives us an uh, upper edge over our competitions or over our competitors who uh, do not use the program. Uh, the, complex, the complexity of staging and different excavation activities, earth movement, uh, soil types, you know, it, it's all being able to organize that information properly and using that uh, to our advantage. Now, we know that staying profitable with, with construction work and earthworks can be a challenge. Uh, and that's what AgTech is here to help to do, to sort of maximise your profits. Do you think, from your perspective, that AgTech is helping you in staying profitable with your highway construction work? Absolutely. Uh, it helps when, especially when the takeoffs are uh, performed correctly, according, you know, to how our owners are uh, paying, you know, their pay items out. You know, the time uh, and experience, uh, with time, I'm sorry, and experience uh, that, that can be manipulated and with the proper adjustments to your models, uh, dollars can be saved and, um, you know, more uh, money can be made even before a bucket is stuck in the ground. Dale, and it's a competitive marketplace out there when it comes to securing work and having competitive bids is important. Do you think that working with ag tech is allowing you to, to win more projects and, and be more competitive with your bids? Yes, well, you know, working with AgTech for, you know, almost over 20 years now, I mean, it's the only program that I've ever used, and it's the only program that I would ever, you know, uh, recommend. Uh, you know, it's helped out tremendously. You know, it's, you know, like I stated, you know, stated before in their previous question, you know, with, you know, being able to, you know, adjust the, the models and, you know, manip manipulate the data, you know, um, all of that during bid time, you know, can minimize construction costs where we cost where we can, um, you know, put into our estimates and create cheaper projects, and then actually, uh, you know, be low bidders. You know, with also an initial plan, you know, to maximize profits initially. Well, Dalen, you've been working with AgTech for a long time, and no doubt there's other AgTech users working alongside you. How do you go about onboarding them with AgTech, and what is that experience like? Well, you know, we get uh, a lot of uh, interns, you know, new hires, engineers, and, you know, with AgTech being such a user-friendly program, you know, it, it's able to, we're, I'm able to, you know, teach our, you know, incoming uh, students and uh, new new hires, you know, very, very quickly, you know, especially with the, you know, demand of the bidding schedules. 
you know, and first, you know, the, the, the thing I'd like to teach them, you know, and I teach them in-house here, is that I like to have them utilize the materials where they're importing PDFs or electronic data, they're performing takeoffs on site removals or proposed construction and staging areas, and then exporting all of that data into uh, KMZs for visual purposes. You know, and then have, you know, once they once they're done with that and they've learned that, you know, I like to teach them how to digitize cross sections or you know, turning uh annotation lines into uh, 3D lines to create grading plans in 4D. And then once they're all familiar with that process, then they can move up to where I can teach them how to build alignments, build surfaces, and then you know over time they'll learn how to manipulate the data in order to get the quantities needed. Well, Dalen, we know there's lots of features within the AgTech solution, but what is the one feature that you could not live without? Well, the data organization by far is just the, the best part of AgTech. Uh, you know, they've come a long way since 20 years ago with the, you know, the new modules of, you know, um, materials and the integration between materials and 4D. But the way the AgTech also allows you to break down your information in layers areas, materials, and its ability to quantify it however you need it is just, you know, amazing. You know, also the integration, of, like I said, of materials and underground uh, grade work allows multiple users to work on different tasks and makes it, it makes it so much better and simpler to share the data, you know, and that minimizes, you know, double work, you know, being done for the same project. Well, Dalen Smith, all the way from Chicago, Jude Law, OHLA USA. Big thank you for joining me today and discussing AgTech.